Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. Just getting out for a walk, changing it up today. I was just thinking, you know, I'm super blessed at what I get to do and I love it. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna just talk about 10 reasons why I absolutely love diode lasers. Now I loved lasers in general. My first class was on 150 watt CO2 laser and I just, instantly fell in love and I was like, I'm doing this, whatever it is. And uh, what instantly got me into it was the creativity. I mean, I just being able to make whatever I wanted to make, you know, I, it's one of the few things I, I, I think you can still make things nobody has ever done before. I'm probably gonna bring this up in another, one of the other reasons, but you know, I get up in the morning, I'm like, okay, uh, I want to make this. I get a dream that night, the night before, and I'm like, ah, I want to make that. And then by that night, it's done. There's not too many other things that you can do that. So the sun's right overhead, so I'm not sure in which angles you're able to see me, but it's not that important. I love these glasses, by the way. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing them. If you've never worn orange glasses out in the spring, it's just amazing like how much more vibrant everything looks. Number two, everything is expanding. I mean, just new, like there's always new stuff. It's just amazing. I mean, when I started this channel, like I had a 10 watt diode laser and you know, they can be frustrating. Actually, I had a 5.5 watt diode. <laughs> I wasted so much wood because it can barely get through anything. Yeah, it did great in engraving, but just look how much in a couple of years, everything's changed. I now have a 70 watt diode laser. That's just crazy. And just the amount of things that I'm able to make at home with a laser, it's, it's really pretty awesome. And some of these companies, you know, like, Rolly and Adam Stack and even X Tool, just constantly innovating and making new things. By the end of this year, who knows what we're going to be looking at? So that's that's an awful lot of fun, which is the third thing that I wanted to say. It's fun. <laughs> you know, you can't get around it. I, you know, now for like three years I've been working with lasers, and every day I wake up and I'm still having fun still so much to do and number four is part of that fun is helping other people and just showing it's fun to show other people how to make something and watching them smile as they create something that they didn't think they could do before and I enjoy making the files like you know of course I'll link my files I've created a little library of files that make it very easy for people to start a diode laser business and people are loving that and they're they're doing really well some of you probably watching this video have it and have been making some of that and I, I'm going to continue to do that and I know like rich Louisiana hobby guy has a library that you can join and get files and there's so many of those out there and uh, it's great and some of you out there, you're going to be learning and teaching and helping other people and, you know, just creating that. Well, I'll get to that later, but that's community. Uh, the next thing I would say is independence. You know, uh, that's one thing. It is nice to have a business and work for yourself and not worry about a lot of the other things that people are worrying about. Being able to make things in your pajamas, right? Get up when you want to. As long as you have the discipline, you know, there's no reason why you can't be completely independent with a diode laser. And it's something I, I truly do uh, enjoy and feel blessed. Uh, the versatility of a diode laser, maybe not quite as versatile as a CO2, but it comes with a lot less hassle. Uh, but you know, I make those leather wallets, but I can combine the leather and wood and make a purse or I can 
making the crosses or making gifts or whatever it is that I feel like making. Uh, you know, I make my gift cards. I just made one for Mother's Day. I made one last year for Mother's Day. I make them for Christmas. I make them for sale. I make my own boxes. <laughs> I make my own cards for my earrings. There's just so many things that you could do and I haven't even barely scratched the surface and that's part of the fun is that I have barely begun to scratch the surface on what is possible. And I brought this up a little bit before and that's community. You know, there is a great laser community out there and I think that's something really missing in the world is of people coming together and I think the laser community is actually really, really nice. And, you know, there's a lot of toxic communities out there where it's just about, you know, people, you know, getting down on other people. And that just doesn't seem to be the case with the lasers. So much help out there and so many other good, like I'm recommending other people's channels all the time. And I'm looking at other people's channels all the time. And, and uh, you know, we're all helping each other. And I, I think that's, that's a really great thing. And I love to be part of that. I brought up before, uh, this is actually I wrote as one of them, is making gifts. You know, I, I just, you can make personalized gifts for people. And that comes up a lot more than you would think. I mean, you got weddings, you got graduations, you know, <laughs> signs, just random signs for people that they come up or for their businesses or for whatever, all the holidays, Christmas, Father's Day, Mother's Day, you know, uh, and you can kind of pay attention and think, oh, this is what this person actually needs instead of trying to go out and find something that, uh, will cost a lot of money and may or may not be what they actually want. And it will likely won't be personalized. And number t nine, I would like to say, it's such a low barrier for entry to start a business. And I would say it's a side hustle to begin with. I've made a lot of videos on this channel about starting your business. You can watch those and uh, it's coming from somebody who's actually done it. Uh, you know, I'm not talking theory. This is my full-time job. Uh, it hasn't always been. And uh, it probably takes a good year of hustle on the side to get yourself to the spot where, you know, you can actually make a little money, but, but it's a fun time. You know, it's a creative time. And I, I you know, I, it's one of the best things I've ever done. And a lot of other businesses just cost so much more money up front to be able to learn and do. I mean, even something like a CNC. Uh, I've watched other people try and get into that and just the amount it costs to get started, to learn the bits and everything else. And uh, I don't know, I'm just really glad that I love the laser. But as far as businesses go that you can start on a, a low, low barrier of entry. I think this is definitely one of the best and uh, I highly recommend it. But again, not get with rich quick. Take your time, make mistakes, learn, grow. Ah, making mistakes. It's one of my favorite things and it generally doesn't cost too much to make mistakes. And that's kind of nice. The last one I'm gonna bring up is, what do you think? What am I leaving out? What do you love about diode lasers? What got you into it? What makes you happy? And uh, I actually really want to hear it. Uh, I'm always looking for more reasons to love it. So leave a comment down below and let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Love y'all.
don't do this. <laughs> I was supposed to do it in two passes, but I forgot I still had the setting on for one pass, which is at 200 millimeters per minute, which is, in my opinion, too slow. Let's see if I can grab this with one hand. I mean, obviously it cut out great. Um, I 